Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm gonna do a quick movie review of Immortals, which came out November 21st of last year. So, like, five months ago. Um, I plan on doing a whole bunch of more reviews. I guess I'll start with this one. I just watched it last night. Um, so first I'd like to say that I know this movie, you know, like, my age group, like, young teens to, like, late 20s has been giving it good reviews while everyone else is giving it bad reviews. It holds a 37% on Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't very good at all. Um, I think the rating on that's probably like a 3 to a 5 out of 10. Um, you know, I really like this movie, to be honest with you. If you look at all the other reviews, they're kind of saying how... I actually read a bunch of reviews. I think um, Roger Ebert said, whatever the fuck his name is, that the story is too hard to follow. It doesn't make sense. Now, those are two different things. Yeah, a movie can be hard to follow, but that doesn't mean it makes doesn't make sense. Case in point, Inception. All the people that gave bad reviews on Inception were the people that didn't understand it. And just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it doesn't make sense. But that's a whole nother case. With the mortals, um, yeah, maybe there are some points, it, some parts where it doesn't make sense, but that's because it jumps around. Like it's, I mean, come on, it's an action movie, and the plot. I like the plot honestly. Um, it's about um, King Hyperion a mortal and his mortal army he wants the Epirus bow I think it is with an E he wants the Epirus bow and he wants to um he's basically recruiting all he's going to all these towns killing people taking them as slaves and he does this with Theseus he kills the mother and Theseus basically wants his revenge he wants to kill Hyperion and on the way he meets the oracle and blah 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 the gods don't want to interfere with people um and eventually he stumbles upon the Epirus bow no that's not even a spoiler and yeah I won't say anything else but so I mean the story it's simple it kinda jumps around but no way do I think it makes for an awful movie. Um, and then you have people saying how it's a disgrace to the mythology. I mean, first of all, you gotta be dumb fucked to go see this movie thinking that it's gonna be exactly like Greek mythology. Any movie you see, you have to be an idiot to think that. No matter what the, you know, even like Lord of the Rings, to think that the entire movie is just like the book, something like you gotta be an idiot to think that because it's Hollywood. Their movies, you know, they got a budget, they got a time frame, and their directors, everyone thinks differently. They're all gonna have their own take on something. And yeah, you know, this movie is extravagant with all of its costumes and makeup and art direction, which by the way is beautiful. I think the art direction in particular is amazing. The costumes that King Hyperion and his armies wear is incredible. It's so fucking like badass, and the gods too. Now that's another thing. With the people are saying, "Oh, the gods," you know, you know they're not giants. They're not fucking powerful. They don't have fucking beards. They're fucking jacked. And yeah, I don't like that. This movie sucks. Zero of ten. First of all, oh, and that the gods aren't powerful. First of all, this movie. I think has the best portrayal of gods in any movie. Yeah, you know, they're sexy and the girls are hot and whatever. The girl, Athena. And they're like mortal sized and they have these crazy gold plated armors and like headdresses and helmets. And I really like how you, they do get a good amount of screen time, but not necessarily action until the end. 
but here and there they do interfere with the mortal axe and when they come down it's perfectly realized you know the mortals when they fight it's a bloody movie and they fight you know the glorious thing you'll see is like a spear going through someone's head or something like that but when the gods come down they're fucking so powerful there's one scene where Ares comes down with a hammer and he literally slows down time and just every person he hits with his hammer it just explodes their head and this the gods are just so fucking powerful and it's perfectly realized you know they're it's just it's just greatly it just works perfectly in my opinion you know um But yeah, um, sorry about that. I was looking at something. Yeah, so I really like the gods. Um, the cinematography, all of that. It's a lot of CGI. I think it's pretty hard to tell, actually. Most of it's landscape CGI. Backdrops. Um, the fighting is well choreographed. There's a lot of 300 similarities, especially with, like, if someone's running, like, across the screen this way. Sorry. Yeah, so anyway. Simple plot works well. I mean, it meant it's obviously not the best plot, but it works well enough to carry the movie forward. That's all that you need in a movie. Something that moves the story. And it definitely moves the story. Um, the action is pretty fucking awesome. It's a beautiful movie. I'm going to give this movie... See, this is my first review of many. It's kind of a shitty review, because I just did it on the spot. Uh, I don't know if I want to give it letter, my movie's letter grades or number grades. I'll probably give it a letter grade, because with letter grades, you can kind of give re reasoning to your grades. With numbers, it's kind of shorter. So I'm going to give this movie a B- minus to a B. Um... Yeah, I mean, I think you should definitely check it out. You know, don't listen to reviewers. That's the one thing I learned. Don't listen to reviewers. You know, a good movie, almost 100% of the time, a good a movie with great reviews will be a good movie. But not all the time will a bad movie, a badly, poorly reviewed movie be bad. You know, you gotta... Because the way reviewer critics work is, if they don't like a movie, they're gonna give it a bad review. And they don't give credit to movies if they don't like one thing in a movie. So, um, uh, just, you know, watch this movie.